Okay, guys, as y'all could see, it is Witch Casket Candle Magic, and it was from December 2020. And instead of them doing the little insert cards that they used to do, I'll show you what, well, no, I can't, because it's way over there. We used to have little tiny pamphlet cards, but they upgraded to these little books, which I love that they did. And I think I'm missing my cauldron. Well, my cauldron's put up because it was separate. So it's the only thing I won't be able to show you. So that's fine. There's a little tiny cauldron that you put um, a tea light on and you can put a wax melt on top of. So I think I put my wax melt up too, but that's fine. Um, first thing I'm going to show you all is our artwork which I absolutely love. We always get artwork, which this is so up my alley. I like stuff like this. We normally get like really witchy, like cute little witchy things or stuff like that. But I like Garth, like goth art like this too. So this is ugh, everything, even though it does symbolize candle magic. So I know a lot of the other ones are like, it's kind of dark, but Sometimes candle magic is kind of on that element. So but it's not always dark, but I like the whole resemblance of it because a lot of everything in this box is red and black. So that's kind of like the aesthetic they were going for was red and black. So that's why I like the colors of it is because it's darkened color and it's kind of gothic attire for me. Next, <laughs> I love this pen. Come on, focus. I get so many pins. I'm actually, this is another thing I've started to collect, is um, pins. And it's, of course, Hocus Pocus. I have so many pins. Um, I have any washa pins. I have Nightmare Before Christmas pins. I have tons of witchy pins, um, which I plan. Um, I have, like, a, it's almost like a Harry Potter thing that they sent me. It's like a big leaflet. I'm going to put all my pins on once we get moved and I'm going to hang it up so all my pins can be shown. Um, it's going to go in my recording room that I have. I'm going to have set up kind of like my camera room. And I'm going to have it where it's showing all the time so everyone can see all the pins I've collected. Because it's weird. I've collected lighters, pins. Um, I still have a big lighter collection that um, if I see a really cool lighter from now and forever, I still collect lighters. <laughs> I still have these, which I need to eat these. Um, they're hard candies that they sent us. They're really cute hard candies. Um, occasionally they do send us sweets. So these are the sweets they send us. They're hard candies with cute little moons. And they are so cute. Um, I thought they were soft. If they were soft, I was going to give them to my mom. Because um, Christmas time, they put... Uh, no, we're staying in uh, Central Texas. We're staying right here in the city that we're at. We're just going to be moving to either a different house. Um, this house, it's not as good built as it is because it's a two-story house that we're in. And um, the foundation that the house is sitting on, they didn't do a good foundation on this house. So we're renting it, thank God. So the rental company that we're with, um, it's a good rental company, but it's not the rental company's fault. It's the person that owns the house, whoever um, they got to build the house originally before, uh, when they did the foundation, they did it really bad. I mean, because anytime that the dirt underneath the foundation shifts, I mean, we have huge cracks in the you know ceiling. I mean, it's bad. So, um, we want to be homeowners, of course. So, um, we're trying to see if like there's houses or, you know, even a nice double white or something like that. Um, and then turn it into a house, you know, or something like that. Um, cause you know, a, a trailer has a good foundation. All you gotta do is just like, you know, stock it in, you know, just put bricks around it and it's a house. <laughs> it's pretty much all you gotta do. So, um, 
we're just trying to find somewhere closely around here because uh, especially where um, your cousin Jacob, my husband, works, he wants to stay right around here because uh, he wants to stay local here so it doesn't interfere with his truck driving job where he works. So um, he definitely wants to stay here unless we win the lottery and then he wants to go to Colorado. <laughs> um so yeah, so if I win the lottery, then we're moving to Colorado. But yeah, that's in hindsight. <laughs> really in hindsight. <laughs> Very big in hindsight. Ugh. But no, we're staying here where we live. And I try to be very on the down low because I had a stalker. My first stalker on here a while ago. Which was really creepy. Ugh. Okay, so we also got the Christmas Blend Loose Tea. And I'll show y'all how it looks. I drink tea, so. I know there's some people that don't drink the tea, but me, I like the tea, so. It, uh, and I actually have the stuff to drink the tea with, and the teas are actually really good. I actually get tea from a lot of the companies that I do boxes with. And the teas are actually really good. Some of them are actually caffeinated. Some of them ain't. So I have to get um, caffeine to put in them. This one I do believe is caffeinated. That yeah, smells good. Almost smells like hot cinnamon. <laughs> it smells almost like a hot tamale. The candies, hot tamales. Oh, it's almost what it smells like hot cinnamon. And then my mom used to eat those all the dang time. <laughs> Back in the day, she used to love those dang candies. I could never, and big red, the big red chewing gum. Throw me nuts with those. And then my wax, the wax melt. The stamp is everything. If I can get it to pop up. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. I love that stamp. It is so pretty, the sticker stamp. I try not to ruin it, of course. I try to save my stickers. I try. Keyword. Me being a tomboy. A tomboy hands. Anybody knows the struggle. The struggle is real. So what we do is we rip the paper. <laughs> Not the sticker. <laughs> and in hopes that it will. Yeah. <laughs> like I said. In hopes. And yeah try to save said sticker and sometimes it might work. <laughs> if it will work, that will be nice. And I think I did. Yes, I did. Yay! Yay! I saved it. <laughs> yes. And this is what she and she smells good. <gasps> That's a wax melt from them, and it smells so good. It's lemongrass. I love the smell of lemongrass, so I'm very witchy. I love the smell of it, and anything citrus, it keeps away insects or anything like that, so I live. I love my wax melts, and when I say I get tons of stones, I'm not kidding. This is cellulite. And she is dusty. She is a dusty selenite. Which I have a lot of selenite. I actually gave my mom a selenite wand that I got. Which was a huge one. I mean, a selenite wand I got in one of my boxes was like this. And that's what I gave to her. Because <laughs> I have so much selenite. And she was pouting when she saw the wand. She's like, can I have it? I'm like, yes. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Selenite is a stone of peace and harmony. A beautiful cleansing stone, which can calm your mind and lift your spirits. Selenite is a great stone for meditation. So if you get a selenite stone, that's what it's good for. And any stone that witch casket or most any of um, my companies that I do business with, they normally send um, like information on the stones. Come on. 
There you go. So any stone you get, you get a good bit of information. And I also have a book on stones and crystals. So I study up on more stuff on it. So I get like um, more benefits on them. Like if I meditate with one, if it's good for digestive, if it's good for this, if it's good for my chakras, is it good for opening like my third eye? I mean, because believe it or not, there's stones that they said are good for like your sex drive, good for sleeping. I mean, there, if you meditate with certain things and if you truly believe in it and you work with them hard enough and you learn to really work with your energy and um, learn how to open up like the energy and the stone and actually learn how to correlate with it. There's different potentials in the minerals and the rocks and the crystals and just like the different geodes in them that, are amazing and just like the healing botanicals like in like a rock salt bath or if you go to like salt mineral baths and they say they have like these amazing healing properties it's almost like the same thing but it's like you almost have to believe in it for it to work so it's the same thing like working with crystals and working with stones you have to learn how to harmonize your energy it's almost like the same frequency of the stone. You have to meditate with it. You have to work with it. You have to, you know, hold it. You have to kind of like synchronize yourself with your stone to um, get, get the healing elements and the properties from it. Or you can't sit there and just hold it for a few minutes. Like, well, I'm not getting nothing from it. It's going to take more than five minutes. Sometimes it's going to take more than a month. It just depends on you. Depends on the stone. Depends if it's meant for you. Because sometimes, you know, like how my mom taught me, if, you know, if the stone's meant for you, you'll get the benefits from it. And if the stone's not meant for you, then you're not going to reap no rewards from it. Because, you know, just because you get it because you're drawn to it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to reap rewards from it, you know, just because. I mean, I'm drawn to so many stones because they sparkle. <laughs> doesn't mean, I mean, it's going to help me. I mean... You know, I weirdly enough, mostly I hate to say it, the stones that I'm getting sent. I mean, in every box they have worked with me and it's almost like they almost sense that I need these stones. And it's creepy in a sense that that they pick up and I'm sitting here like, okay, weirdly enough, does everybody need these stones? Because these boxes, everybody else gets these same stones. So is everybody in the world need these stones? Or, you know, what the heck? Because every stone I get sent, they do help me out in a sense. So it's just ironic, you know, the irony of it. So I'm just like, okay, you know, I I don't take it with a grain of salt by no means. You know, I mean, I see that, you know, things work in mysterious ways for reasons. Um, I got a black and a white tea candle, tea lights, which I love tea lights. Tea lights are always cool. And the purpose of them, the white candle is to purify, bring peace, and make way for new beginnings. The black is for protection, removing hexes, and banishing negative energies. And that actually, a lot of people would find that probably impossible because most people signify black candles for actually hexing. Believe it or not, it's red candles. <laughs> Don't use that as bad juju against me because <laughs> they normally signify red for love it is but it's also for other stuff so use your magic carefully children i mean just because you know black mostly people signify you know black as a negative color no negative is a very protective it's you know it's removing negative it's you know just because people sense that it's a dark color, they always put, you know, a negative stereo, stereo stigmatism to it. And that's just people's ignorance. And that's always been a thing that gets on my nerves. And it's like, if they truly knew anything, I mean, that's just like in life in general, you know, it's like, you don't, ever judge anything by color you judge it by energy and you judge it by actions and you judge it by purpose 
If people learned how to do that in everyday life, life would be easier. Even with people. <laughs> Uh, but people are fickle. Next thing. Got a candle dozer. Candle snuffer. I call it a dozer too. But I'm going to tell you all something. Just in case people didn't know this. It says ensure you don't blow away your spell's energy. By ensuring all spell candles are either burned out or snuffed out. Because if you blow out your spell candle, it means you're blowing away the energy of your spell. You want to make sure that it burns out on its own. So the energy is actually going where it needs to. Or you snuff it. So it's the same thing. If you blow away the energy, that means that you're kind of like removing everything you did. Luckily, I've never done that. <laughs> but... I never knew that because something's always told me never blow out my candles just to let nature do its own thing. But weirdly enough, I never knew that. This is my second one I got from them. I have a different shaped one. Um, it's kind of like a altar tile. And um, people say you can use them as coasters. But I put them on my altar. So I could put like my candles on top of them or my small little altar piles on them or something. Or like a... Um, a small statue or something to like and charge up the energy or something or kind of use it as a small grid. Um, my other one has a different symbol on it though and it's a little bit more heavier than this one but I do love these. Anything with a pentacle or a pentagram tomato tomato everyone has a way of saying it. Ugh. Don't want to thin the children. This cool little pouch I freaking love this. I don't know if it's meant for this or not, but it's freaking cool. Plus, it's red and black, two of my favorite colors. It used to be blue and black, but, you know, anything with black, I love it. But that is too freaking cool. I freaking love it. I mean, if it came with a candle like that and, like, a candle stand like that. Oh my freaking god. That would have been bomb. That would have been so cool. Next we got a ritual. And this is a positive energy candle ritual. You get one every one box you get. You get your ritual instructions. Which you get a design on one side. Which is the high priestess. And then you get your positive energy ritual candle on this side. So I'll let y'all look at that for a minute. Just in case y'all want to see if y'all can read that. You have to pause the video and grab it. These two herbs. Ah, I love smelling them. Is... Mint and Majorum. And then we have White Spell Candle and the Holder. And then that's it. They give you pretty much everything you need in every spell kit, which I actually love that they do that. And you get one of these. In every box. I'm expecting one. Another witch casket. For my January. It's a little bit late. Because they were. Um, waiting for an item. So I'm not upset. It happens. So I mean. They're really good about shipping stuff out. So And they've always been good. So. I'm, you know, I'm cool. Dang it, get in there. Scooch your booty down, girl. The high priestess is being a twat. <laughs> and then I got a really cool wax melter. Um, it was in the shape of a, a cauldron. But she's already put up in my thingy over there. 
and then I'll read to y'all everything we got. This box is um, 59 as well, roughly, I think. No, no, about 40-ish, I think. Yeah, about 40-ish. Let me put that lemongrass up. I normally put all this stuff up because I have everything stored up there in boxes. Like, if you look up there, all those boxes have all my witch stuff. So, after I'm done doing all the videos, I go and store my stones, my candles, my incense, my wax melts, the teas. I have tons of teas up there. So, like, when I'm in the mood for witchy tea, I go get my witchy tea, which all my witchy teas go up there only. <laughs> And then we get a scroll, which is a witchy scroll, which goes in my books only. My grimoire. How did I get into this kind of stuff? Um, I saw some videos on YouTube. Um, like some of the people that I subscribe to, they were getting like these really cool boxes. And I was like, oh, and I normally bought stuff on eBay. Like, um, to fill up, like, my stuff that I did spells with and stuff. And I wanted to, of course, fill up my Book of Shadows, my Grimoire. I wanted to expand my stuff. And I wanted cooler stuff to expand my stuff with. You know, not just typical stuff that I would get. So, like, some of the people I watch, like, um, Glamangore. Not Glamangore. I don't watch her no more. She doesn't do this stuff. Um... Toxic Tears, um, Luna Lily, uh, who else? Shoot. Um, Ella Enchanted, a few other ones that I watched, they get like really cool boxes. So I was like, you know what? I want to start, you know, getting into some of the boxes they have. Ha ha. I got my other sticker. Um, so I uh, started seeing like Luna Lily, she got the witch casket. So I was like, I want to get witch casket. So I followed www.witchcasket.co.uk and I subscribed and I started getting the monthly boxes. I fell in love right away. I mean, it had the stones. Sometimes we would get jewelry. We would definitely get the teas. I get the herbs. I mean, that's what I wanted. I mean, I wanted so to stock up, you know, like my witchy herbal stuff. Like when I would do spells, I would get different spells like this here, the scroll. We get a monthly scroll like this one here. It says preparing candles for magic. And I'd put this in my grimoire and I would get different spells for different things like spells that I don't already have. Um, and this I save. So like different things that I don't have, like if I want to go buy something else, I could go to their shops and, um, cause I mean, I've been trying out different stuff, but like eBay wasn't impressing me. And I'm like, man, I wish there's other, you know, I've been wanting other places to go. I was getting really depressed with the shops that I had. And I was like, I've seen some places like in Austin and San Antonio and we would go down there to grandpa's grave and stuff. So I was like, there has to be better places for this. And how I found Toxic Tears is she's um, dating one of the guys that I also watched, Jake Monroe. Um, he's her boyfriend and I watch them both and I like them both. They're both great people. Um, Jake Monroe, he does funny videos. Um, he does music as well. And he actually was doing hex bombs unboxings, which I love hex bombs. Jake got me into hex bombs. <laughs> Freaking turd. Um, and I was watching him when he was like very low into his channel and um i put him out on facebook and every chance that i could i would whore him out you know as much as i could and he was getting whored out by a lot of his other people as well and then i found out about his girlfriend toxic tears and i love toxic i love her style i love her fashion i love her makeup i love her aesthetic um Found out she was doing like the witch's moon. She was um, also doing the witch casket. Um, 
like Luna Lily. She was doing a whole bunch of other boxes that I've never seen. And I was like, dude, I want to start getting into these boxes because they look really cool. And I mean, a lot of them I've never heard of. And I'm like, oh my God. And some of the stuff they get are so rad. I mean, like if you see some of the other boxes I do too, because some of them, um, like I got another box like Lenore. I just got into Lenore um, from another lady. She's one that I'm kind of upset with, but um, I found her. I'm not going to mention the lady's name. Um, but I like Lenore. Lenore is awesome. She sent me out my stuff really quick. I actually get along with Lenore. Me and Lenore's talked. We're really tight. Um, I love her boxes. Um, so, I mean, pretty much every box I get, like I also get Fright Crate from Crate Joy. Um, so, I mean, I found all these boxes through YouTubers and, and then I found out Etsy has boxes and, um, it's your private people. And I was like, wow. So a lot of people are doing boxes and I had no idea. And I was like, whoa. So I was like, okay, cool. So, and then weirdly enough, I was like, you know what? I'm bored. I want to do something. And I was like, you know, one, I wanted to do the tarot card readings anyway. And I also do the teaching on Facebook. So I wanted to make the YouTube anyway to help the students that I wanted to teach. But I was like, you know, I also do unboxing. So, you know, the students that they want to see, they can see some of the stuff I'm getting. So if they're curious about the unboxings I'm doing, they can see some of the things that I'm buying and purchasing. So if they're curious about where I go, and where I spend my money that, you know, places that I'm very peculiar about, you know, depositing my dollars because <laughs> I'm very, very, very peculiar about where I would spend my money. And because, I mean, I've seen people throw out like a hundred dollars on one box company and it's all been crap. I mean, the herbs, it don't even look like the correct herbs um, that I embottled correctly, stuff came broke. I mean, statues look like crap, and I'm like, and they're like happy as hell, and I'm like, okay, cool, you know, yay, you go be you. <laughs> I mean, if they're happy with it, I'm fine with it, but it's like, if, if I'm gonna pay a hundred dollars for something, it better come looking magnificent, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the boxes I get, I mean, the most expensive box I have, actually, I just take it back. Um, Witches, uh, um, dang it, I know what this one's called, but I'm being a dork. Hang on a minute. Witch casket is like $49. Witch's moon is like 60. Witch's roots is 29. Um, the tarot one is like 60 ish. Um, so it, and I don't get the tarot one like all the time, but the tarot one I found through mom because mom found out through, um, watching YouTube videos as well. So most of them came through YouTube and, uh, I mean, cause I've been combing through different YouTubers and watching them and trying to find out which companies to work through the best so I could get reliable items that would be good enough to use so I wouldn't get taken advantage of and give you know a good value and good customer service good people and you know that's how I found the companies I found um I mean because I mean when I seen the people doing the reviews the stuff I seen was beautiful and so that's what made me choose those companies because it's like wow and then all the other companies, like some of the other companies I want to try out, like Sugar Muse, um, Sacred Space, Sacred Space Crate, or Sacred, what is it, hang on. Sacred Space Crate, is that what it is? Yeah, Sacred Space Crate. That's the other one I want to get, but I haven't had no luck getting it. Um... Cause like a lot of people jump in on it and that box is like $60. And to me, it's like crazy that all these people are buying these boxes. I mean, like when I've seen these people unboxing them, 
like I only get these boxes like right at the first of the month. And these people get like 20 to 30 boxes. And I see how expensive these boxes are. And I only get like a few at a time. Like maybe five or six if I'm lucky. <laughs> these people get like, and I'll say here like this is like four or five hundred, six hundred dollars that they're spending. And I'm like, that's like half of rent. Like what the f and I'm like, y'all don't have the viewers. <laughs> y'all what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, wow. So I'm like, yeah. But I mean, I really, I would really like to get into some of the other ones, but it's like, that's what I'm trying to build my channel and get to certain things, maybe get some sponsorships, hopefully. Um, I'm hoping. <laughs> Here's the hoping. But yeah. Um, but like I said, that's why I try to do certain things. And that's why one, like when I was starting to do the tarot cards, which I'm getting back into, hopefully I will do it after my husband and mine's vacation. And after, um, my oldest son's girlfriend comes down cause she'll be here for almost like a whole week. And, um, so then I'll be able to do the tarot card readings like I wanted. Um, I try to be in a very good mood, have enough of energy to do it. Um, because if I don't, then I'm not going to be able to give a good solid reading. I'm going to be like drained and I'm not going to have very much energy. I'm going to be a dud and I'm not, they're going to be like, this girl ain't no reader. <laughs> She's full of crap. <laughs> I ain't gonna make no money. And I mean, it's not, I'm doing it mainly for money. I'm doing it to help people. Making money is, you know, another added, you know, benefit of it. Yeah. But like I told everybody, I started charging because I've had so many people high demand of it. And I'm not charging nothing compared to what I know other readers are charging. I mean, I've been told I should charge more. And I'm like, yeah, so I can have other people come in here making fun of me? No. I mean, I have people come in here talking crap for me charging 3 to 5 to $10. When I've had other people that I've seen charging like $15, $20, $100, uh, $125, $45, even close to $200. And I'm like... <laughs> Thank you, cuz. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's what I'm working on. And, like I said, I got two more boxes after this. And I have my butt. <laughs> um, but, uh, hopefully, this week, um, I know I had a lot of people wanting me to hop on tarot like this week. And this week is going to be like no tarot cards. I'm just going to try to do all strictly all my unboxings so I can get all my boxes put up and out of the way so I can get them all my stuff put where it goes and everything put in my grimoire. And then um, after my future daughter-in-law <laughs> comes down, I could do it after she goes back home to New York. And then uh, after that, I'll do the tarot card readings, which will be around where is my calendar <laughs> my calendar is nowhere where I can see it no I thought I had a calendar on this stupid thing I have a, a new Chromebook without a calendar and how funny is that I'm supposed to have a calendar <sighs> have to install a calendar now huh <laughs> Chromebook without a calendar. How dumb is that? Okay. Let's go to Play Store app. <laughs> okay, guys. Momentary pause. Have to install a calendar. <laughs> oh, my God. Calendar. Just a calendar. Just a, just a regular calendar. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> I'm dying, guys. I, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying right now. I'm internally dying right now. <laughs> uh, does my calendar need to have an agenda? Yes, it needs to have an agenda. It's out to kill me. <laughs> It's the Terminator. Ah, oh, my finger is itching. Let's make this simple. Yes. <laughs> they are making my life complicated. Hey. <laughs> you would think, honestly, that with a HP Chromebook 360, it would come with everything installed, right? 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 No. <laughs> There's no calendar. No calendar anywhere. None whatsoever. This is sad. Ugh. This is beyond sad. Ay, 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 ay. Allow the things I do. Okay. Uh, we are not in 2016, sir. February. Nah. No, no. Stop. Y'all are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm going to get writers for, for Fraudman for that. Okay. So, I can probably do... Da, 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 we need to go to March. What am I doing? Yes, we need to go to March, not February. Because she'll be leaving around March. Do not pop up another damn video. I will scream. Okay. Oh, I was about to scream. No, 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 no. Stupid daffy thing. Okay, that's cool. Because I appreciate it. If you're tired, go get some sleep, girl. Okay, I will be trying to do a tarot on the 8th and the 9th, and then 12th maybe, around them days. Yeah, we'll do it then. Okay, so I'm going to end this video so I can go ahead and get another video going. If you pass out, cuz, I love you and you have a good night, and I will catch you later on and you sleep good, okay? Um... I'm going to go ahead and end this video and start working on the next one, guys. So I will see y'all shortly. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>